Welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers. It's too cold. Anyway, like I was saying, welcome to the lounge, all my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Especially chillers and grillers, because that's what we're doing. We're chilling and grilling today. We're going to make something a little bit different. I'm grilling vegetables, mostly. It's kind of a vegetarian meal, but at the same time, I'm going to add a little meat to it, but you don't have to add the meat. I'm going to make spaghetti. So, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab yourself something cold to drink, and let's get started. Here's the vegetables that we're going to grill up today. We need an onion, two green peppers, two red peppers, not to be mistaken with the green peppers. They're a little bit shaped different and a little bit different color. We need a zucchini. We need some mushrooms. We need some olive oil, which is actually going to be for the vegetables. Some salt and pepper, which is going to go over there, but then it's going to come over here. So we're going to need it for both. So it's right in the middle. We're going to need some garlic, some bay leaves, some oregano leaves, some basil leaves. There's a lot of leaves in this. Some Italian seasoning. We need one small little tiny six ounce can of tomato paste. We need one can of 15 ounce tomato sauce. We need one big can. Why do you keep lifting things higher? Of 28 ounce of diced tomatoes. And then we're going to need, remember our flat leaf uh, parsley that I had before? We're going to use that again. We also got, and that's, that's for the sauce. It's all for the sauce. This is for the sauce too, which is sweet Italian sausage, some Parmesan cheese. I know a lot of people like the, you know, the little container that you sprinkle on, but that's not as good as the real stuff. And of course, we're using linguine. You can use spaghetti. You can use whatever you want. We're using linguine. We like the fat stuff. So anyway, we're going to get started now with our, we're going to start our sauce and then we're going to go out and grow our vegetables. So we're starting with the sauce. We're going to take our sweet sausage that I cut up in size like that. Did you see that on the camera? No. Right, about that size. Put that in there. You want to brown that up. While you have that in there, we are going with about four cloves of garlic, minced, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of basil leaves, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Put them in there. You want to you want to get these brown. I threw something at Tom. Not sure if it hit him or not. Did it hit you? No. Dang it. Well, I mean, I'm good. You know, I'm glad that it didn't. But, give me this. I'd say you're guy. bad. Huh? I'd say you're bad. You're bad? Yeah. My bad? You didn't hit me, so you're bad. You're bad at throwing things. That's not nice. Alright, so anyway, it's, it's pretty much brown now. Can you see it? You got it? Uh, well enough. Okay. You're just brown the outside of it. Now, take your tomato paste. That's some thick stuff right there. Okay, and your tomato sauce. Put that in there. And last but not least, the big can of diced tomatoes. There, we calmed everything down now. Give that a nice mix in there. It smells good already. Wish you guys could smell this, that's a shame. Anyway, so mix it up. You're gonna turn, put a lid on it. Yeah, put a lid on it. Anyway, turn the flame down because you want that to, you want it to simmer. It's going to take a long time, folks. It's going to take, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it on medium for a little while until it gets actually, gets almost to, to uh, bubbling. 
And then, oh, before, I forgot. Don't forget, a little salt, and of course, his best friend, pepper. Put that in there, mix it up again. Now bring that almost to where you, where you start seeing it bubble a little bit, and then turn the flame down, put a cover on it, and just let it simmer. In the meantime, we are going to get our, wherever they're at, our vegetables. Well, how long is it supposed to simmer for? An hour and a half. Didn't I say that already? No. I thought I said that already. No. I think I did. You didn't. Pretty sure. No. Pretty sure. That's why I asked. All right. Anyway, in the meantime, we're going to get our vegetables ready. We can grill them, get them all ready, and then bring them in the house. As you can see, it's starting to bubble inside there. So, you know, give it a little quick stir. Put a lid on it and turn the heat down just a little bit on the between low and medium and we're going to be letting that simmer for about an hour and a half you can put your timer on if you want if you have a timer and just let that go like that and that'll help you out a little bit if you have a timer in the meantime let's get our veggies ready so i cut up the onions about like that threw them in a bowl and i cut up the zucchini about like that Throw them in a bowl. See? The bowl. Take some olive oil. Drizzle some around in there. And then, you know, of course, mix it up. Whoa. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper on these. And then we're going to put them on the grill to, uh, to grill these. But also I have the, the peppers too, the red peppers and the green peppers and I'm going to do the exact same thing with them and then we're going to put them all on the grill. Drizzle some oil. Just a, ooh, that was a little bit more than a little bit, huh? Okay, drizzle some oil all over. Yeah, splash, splash, splash. Whatever. Okay, salt and pepper. Don't worry, I'm going to turn these over and they'll get it on the other side too. And then we're going to put them on the grill and get them going. We already preheated this. I have my grill on medium. Remember, guys, be vigilant about this. You don't want anything to burn. I got a lot of vegetables to put on here, so I got to kind of stack them all over on the, on the side. I'm going to cook these mostly all the way through. You'll, you'll know because, like I told you before, the, uh, the peppers will get kind of rubbery. And the onions get translucent. And let's see, what else? Did I get everything there? And the zucchini. The zucchini, you want to make sure. Depends on how you like it. I like it, you know, I don't... A little crunchy isn't too bad. But I like it kind of mushy too at the same time. Not real, real mushy, but you know what I'm saying. We're going to cook all these up. Let me tell you what, this is going to be delicious. You put this in that sauce. And of course, when it's winter time and you don't have, you know, it's not grilling weather, then of course you can just cook these and saute them in some butter or olive oil on the grill, or I mean on your on your stove top and uh, it'll be just as good. There we go. So now we're just gonna keep an eye on these things. So the veggies are all done now. I have them separated here because I'm gonna put the onions in kind of early, the other stuff a little bit later. I can turn all my grill burners off close that up let the stuff burn off of there take this in the house and chop them all up okay so I'm gonna cut the leaves up I don't care if I get some stems in there I'll pull them out cut as much as this as you want in there I really like this stuff I'm gonna take probably that if I got some more leaves in there anyway so chop this up nice and fine 
Make sure you don't chop your fingers. That's never a good thing. If you curl your fingers, you won't cut them off. I know I don't have the best cutting uh, technique down, but you know what? I haven't cut a finger off yet, have I, Tom? Nope. Ow! I told you who say that he does have bad technique. Just leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Good one, Tom. Anyway, so you want to chop this up? That looks good to me. And that's what you're going to add to it. Probably about 10 minutes before it gets finished. The other stuff, you can actually use some of that and just cut it up a little bit and use it as garnish on the top of it. Now it's time to grate the cheese. As you turn it away from the camera. Well, I kind of have to do it like this, don't I? Well, yes, but the presentation wasn't so great. Pardon me, why I grate Tom. You are... Well, no, this is actually darker than you, Tom. Rude. Anyway, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I think that it is great. <laughs> it's grated. Ah. Our water is now boiling, so we can take our linguine and spill it all over the floor. Oops. I only put it in half a box at a time. I oh, break no. mine in half. Your eye. Well, excuse me, everybody, while I take Tom to the emergency room. You want to put all your linguine in. You want to, some people put it in whole, but I, I like to break it in half. Ah, oh, my other eye. <laughs> Tom is completely blind now. There's not much to see here anyway, Tom. Anyway. How does linguine go through my glasses? I don't know. Oh, not pretty, again. Pretty tricky, huh? Bring it back to a boil. Once it becomes to a boil, stir it here and there and let it cook for about 11 to 12 minutes. Just follow the directions on the box. It will tell you. Now it's time. We only have a little bit over 10 minutes. Put our flat leaf parsley in. Put our onion in. Am I blocking you, Tom? Not a bit. Put our green and red peppers in. And our zucchini and mushrooms in. And wow, is that pot full now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Stir it up good. We got 10 minutes to go on this sauce. At about the same time that we have for the uh, pasta. And then it's all gonna be good. This is the way we like our spaghetti. Our pasta is finally done. So, let me show you what you do here. You turn it off. Be very careful around boiling water. I have a special kind of pan that actually has the colander inside of it, so I can actually drain it right here. Make sure all, all that water gets out of it. Don't want wet spaghetti, do you, Tom? No. No, not me either. Look at them all hanging out. They're trying to get away. You see them? They're like worms. You're losing them. Anyway, so then I bring it over to my bowl here and I pour them in. Some of them don't want to come out. So sometimes you gotta persuade them just a little bit to come out of the, the pot, see? And then even that won't work sometimes. You gotta just go in there with your hand and just say, ouch, because it's hot. You know what, that's enough of that. Yeah, don't actually do that. Okay, so anyway, what I do now is, I take a little bit of olive oil, and I just, not too much, not too much. You just want to drizzle a little bit on top. There's not a whole lot left in there anyway, is there? Then, mix it all up. And of course our sauce is done, so next will be, this is so, anyway, this is so that the uh, pasta doesn't actually stick together. Next will be the plating. Put some spaghetti on there. This is called a spaghetti spoon. I 
think. Anyway, I don't know, but it works really good for spaghetti. Get your sauce. Mmm. Here we go. Take some nice Parmesan cheese. Oops. And a little bit of parsley on there. And there we go. Uncle Larry's spaghetti. So now for the ultimate taste test. Why are you sitting so far away? I can't even hit you. Great. Right. Why would you want to anyway? Just saying. Anyway, so now mm. we're going to taste it. If you notice, we're not outside because... Why, Tom? Uh... It's freaking dark outside, that's why. I don't know okay. what you were waiting for. Alright, so. Interrupting Tom. That is really good. That's what I get up. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Is it really good? Mm hmm. Okay. He said, mm hmm. That means he likes it. And that's good enough for me. Anyway, till next time, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. And we'll meet you in the den? At the lounge? The child's called it at the lounge, so. It... At the lounge. We'll meet you at the lounge.